All right, everyone, welcome to the seven figure dental practice masterclass. Uh, the new way to quickly build a high six or seven figure dental practice in the Philippines, whether you're just starting out or scaling up. Uh, when you say scaling up, uh, people don't understand that yet. Uh, it means you just want to expand. You want to expand your practice, you want to build a bigger practice or a more profitable practice. You know, you need to be in on. My name is Dr. Ron Samaniego, and uh, I'll, be, I'll be the one. I'll be the one uh, guiding you through this master class. Let me let me uh, let me start with this. Uh, this is not for everyone. Uh, ito yung para sa mga dentists who are just starting in their pra prior practice and are looking to scale their practice. So, nagsimula ka palang probably within two years. Kasi simula palang and you wanna you wanna scale your practice. You wanna get a bigger practice or more profitable practice. And you're hungry and ready to go to seven figures and beyond. Maybe seven figures. It's like uh, a million at least. Yeah. While working less but making more money in the process. Hmm. Paano nga ba yun? Di ba? So we will go through that today. I put this uh, dental practice in here because it looks really good, right? To have so, ganon kaya yung class in practice, uh, more cutting edge, parang mapa futuristic. So my promise to you is this: I'll be discussing. My predictable way to a million pace of dental practice with less stress and more time in your hands. Paano nga ba natin gagawin yun? Na, we don't have to work a lot, but we have more time, we have more money. So you will discover a three-step blueprint to predictably generate high-ticket leads and scale into a multi-million pace of practice. So meron tayong, meron tayong sinusunod na guidelines or blueprint uh, that, that I even use in my clinic that, so in order for me to scale my practice then. So we all want financial abundance, meaning more time and money. I mean, you, you work less, you have more time, you have more money for yourselves and your, and your kids. But then again, can you relate to this? Do you feel you're under, undercharging and not getting paid what you're truly worth? Marami, marami dentists, but I do feel that a lot of, a lot of dentists are undercharging. Um, some of you na, na online uh, savvy, you, you troll your patients on FB, Instagram, and other social media platforms. And I, I see that a lot. And pag ganun na ang dating ninyo sa, sa mga tao, wala na tayong pinakaiba dun sa mga networkers. Si open-minded ka ba? Pag ganun ka na, halos wala ka nang pinakaiba sa online. So, need help automating your marketing and enrolling clients without feeling salesy? Maraming, maraming healthcare practitioner, hindi lang sa parte ng Pilipinas, but all over the world, ayaw natin na, na parang tayo nagbebenta. Ayaw ko kasi na feeling na yung bebenta sa pasyente. Or I don't wanna feel na, na alam mo yun, na, na salesy ako masyado. Or, kasi ayaw ko na marketing, hindi ko trip yan. Eh, kasi hindi ako nag-advertising. Mahal yan, expense yan. Masyadong magastos yan. Pag gano'n ang attitude ninyo, chances are this is not for you. So can you relate to this? Are you tired of seeing patients that don't appreciate your work? Yung pupunta ko, kaya hindi si support, may schedule. Uh, tapos, taktong nga nga, kami sluts ka. Kala mo, punong-puno ka for that. Yung pala, hindi si support. Are you fed up with manual prospecting or relying on so-called marketing experts in the Philippines? Naku, Diyos ko po, ito ang dami nito sa Pilipinas. In fact, I was able to hire three or four of them. Or, yeah, four. Uh, lumapit sa akin, Doc, ano, uh, we can do the marketing for you, ganyan-ganyan. Ako naman kasi I was so busy. O sige, sige, hawa kami marketing ko, tingnan natin yung kaya mo. So I tried them for like six months each, no? Lahat sila, ano, magaling na magsalita, kala mo, ano, kala mo, uh, mahusay. Y ano yun, kasi the thing is this, I, I, was, I was new then, bago ako sa Pilipinas doon. I did not know how Filipinos talk and I, nakalimutan ko na. Nakalimutan ko na, I should say. Hindi, hindi kasi hindi alam. Pero nakalimutan ko na or hindi ko nakilala ng gusto yung mga Pinoy. And they, they, they all talk a good game pero, oh my goodness. When you say marketing experts, bogus. Yun ang, yun ang term na, diba? Bogus, bogus yung mga marketing experts sa Philippines. Wala pa ako na meet na magaling na marketing experts sa Pilipinas. Kung meron man, siguro na, napakamahal niya. Siguro na sa maybe that person or that company is charging at least half a million to a million a month. Are you swamped with work, client calls, and have little to no time in your business and personal life? Masyadong busy, wala ang time personal. Ito yung sakit ko eh. Ito yung saklap sa atin, mga healthcare people. We take care of other people, but we can't even take care of our own family, ourselves. Diba? Ang saklap. 
Diba? Paano yung palabas ni, ano, ni Sharon Cuneta na caregiver? You know? The thing is, it's not your fault. You know, don't, don't, you know, don't feel na, na I'm blaming you for all this stuff that's happening. Kaya tinanong sa inyo, can you relate to any of this? Uh, if you can, then I'm telling you now, it's not your fault. Bakit? Kasi hindi mo tayo tinuruan ng school natin kung paano magligosyo, paano magmarket. Kasi business is another sector, another, it's another skill that we all need to learn. Hindi naman tuturo yan. Tinuruan tayo ng school natin paano magdentist, paano magpt, paano magdoktor. Pero no one has that, no school in the Philippines na, na nasa healthcare na magtuturo sa'yo kung paano magnegosyo. Wala. Kung meron man, I don't think it's that, that good of a program. So the real problem is this. There's just way too many dentists l- delivering cheap services. Okay? The competition is just way too much. Alam ko, ramdam nyo yan. Hindi ko na nga kailangan sabihin to. Alam nyo to. Pero, the thing is, sabihin ko pa rin para mas makita ninyo kung ano talaga yung problema natin ngayon sa Pilipinas. The old way of marketing and advertising is a dying model. Sino pa dito nag advertise sa newspaper, sa dyaryo, sa, sa mga radyo, sa pa ba, yung mga leaflets na mimigay ng flyers, ano ba, pamphlets, brochures, and, or you even probably trolling your, your, your family and friends. Right? So here's why I say that. Di ba, sabi competition is high and, and there's a lot of dentists? Tarawin yung sarili nyo. How many dental clinics are located within, within your 2-kilometer area? Sige, sa pwesto nyo ngayon, ilang kayong dentista dyan within that 2-kilometer area? And kung nag-iisa kayo sa practice nyo ngayon, Let's say, ah, oh, nag-iisa lang ako sa lugar ko within 2-kilometer area. Baka baryo yan. Kung baryo yan, at, at wala masyadong talagang pasyente dyan, dahil nga baryo yan, then, um, yeah, nag-iisa ka, pero I don't think you'll be profitable there. Kasi at the beginning, wala naman talagang tao. Kaya nga wala masyadong kalaban. Okay? Maring, maring, hindi, hindi, alam mo, Doc, profitable din naman ako kahit baryo to eh. Oh, really? I guess, I guess you'll find out soon enough as I, as I take you through, through this master class, kung talaga profitable ka or hindi. You're likely being told that you need to advertise in the newspaper, troll online group chats, yung mga group chats na pinapasok ninyo para makakuha ng pasyente, get referrals from your family and friends. Sige na, nai, tay, bigyan mo lang pasyente kasi simula ko pa lang sa practice. Hindi pa nga nagtitake off, eh, dami ko ng utang, Diyos ko po, di ba? Man? How often do I hear that? Ito yung mentality na if you build it, they will come. Nagtayo ako ng dental practice dito sa lugar namin sa, sa Barrio Tiburcio. Di ba? Diyos ko. Uh, nagtatayo ako dito at pupunta sila. That's not true anymore. Siguro ng 70s to to, pero ngayon hindi na. So, people will magically, magically come to you since you're the only dentist in the area. Like I said earlier, kung nag-iisa ka dentist sa area na yan, baka Barrio yan. At chances are, wala naman talaga maraming tao dyan. And you'll find out soon enough if you're really profiting from it or not. And alam mo naman sa sarili mo totoo yun or hindi. The good news is this. What if I were to tell you that there's a smarter, more profitable, and more impactful way of building the dental business you've always wanted? Kasi meron. I'm telling you na meron. Alright? Um, the good news is that. And then the, the key to the success is a simple three-step framework. Meron akong pinafollow na framework to build my practice and to operate my practice so that so that I could have more time and freedom in my hands. And when I say time and freedom, I'm with my kids now. Mamaya, maraling mo sila kasi magigising na yun. Umaga na dito sa Amerika. Magigis, maraling mo sila, magigingay na yun dito. Nakakalabog na itong aking conference. Kaya tinayamin ko sa oras na pagising sila eh, para maraling nyo kasama ko yung mga bata. Eh. Sana magising na soon. So, build your audience. Ayan yung unang key. You build your audience you engage that audience and you profit from your audience, meaning you convert them into patients. Nako, Dok, masyado namang ano yan, masyado namang direct yung approach na yan. Well, there, the thing is, the thing is this, uh, it's, it's a framework that works for me, it, it's a framework that works for people here in the States, it's a framework that's not being done in the, uh, in the Philippines. Wala pang gumagawa ng framework na to. Kahit yung mga so-called marketing gurus, ah, tut- tutulong ka namin mag-market sa Facebook, tutulong ka namin mag-advertise online, tutulong ka namin ganito. Pero totoo lang, guys, they don't know anything about marketing. They just attended uh, an, an online course or they probably attended uh, a weekend course. Tapos sasabihin nila, expert na sila. I, I found out that that's what happened. Kasi bakit? Ginawa ko? 
Pumunta rin ako kung sa sila nag-a-attend at nakita ko yung pagbumukha nila doon. Lahat sila. And the thing is, these people, kahit yung mga nagtuturo ng no marketing cases, mar- marketing uh, uh, courses sa Philippines, they know how to press buttons. Kaya lang, kahit sinong unggoy, makapag-press ng buttons, doesn't mean magiging magaling ka sa marketing. You all know that. Kahit kahit uh, kahit sinong kahit sinong tao bibigyan mo ng gamit niyo sa dentist eh magagamit niya yan kahit niya mga assistant niyo nagagamit niya eh ang tanong magagamit niya ba ng tama hindi di ba yun yung point ko dito so as we move on i know i know parang oh my god ano to si doc ah masyadong direct magsalita to well i am the thing is if you're not direct nowadays hindi ano eh hindi na uso yung uh, doktor na ganito eh na Diba? Let's say, doktor ka, parang, ay, alam mo, ano ha, kailangan paggamit yung ngipin mo, ha? Ano kasi, nahihiya ako, mga akong tignan. Diba? I mean, pupunta ka mo sa ganong klaseng doktor. I mean, even if you refer the, den- the, the dentist yourself, you wanna go to a dentist that you trust. Kung ang attitude ng dentist na pupuntahan mo is, uy, ano, dok, ano ha, kailangan mo itong gamutin. Ay, dok, mga akong tignan, nakakahiya eh. Pag ganun ang attitude, you, it doesn't build any confidence you will not go back to that person anymore, right? Anyway, moving on. With this framework that, I was, that I'm talking about, you'll have absolute certainty and peace of mind that you have a simple roadmap that works and is working for other healthier entrepreneurs just like you all over the world. This applies to all the entrepreneurs na, uh, that are in healthcare all over the world and they're applying this three-step blueprint program and they're probably apro- applying more and it's working well for them. You wake up every day knowing exactly where your next patient is going to come from. Guys, believe it or not, I know where my patients are coming from. I'd say I'd say uh, 95% of my patients, I know where they come from. Yung 5%, I know ko rin, word of mouth. Yung word of mouth ko, hindi ganong kalaki. I don't rely on word of mouth that much. Kasi, yung word of mouth ko halos naka-integrate na rin sa 95%. Pero... But we, we try to identify that in, in our clinics. It's 95%. We know we know that it comes from this three, three-step three blueprint and the rest are coming from the word of mouth or not nila somewhere else. So with this, fra- with this framework, well, why did it jump? Okay. All right. So with this framework, no more spray and, 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 uh, and stay. Parang... Sige na, sige, try natin. Mag-ano tayo, mag, mag-try tayo, mag-market. Tingnan natin, market natin sa lahat ng tao. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. With this framework, you'll be able to stop wasting your time with activities that don't move the needle and instead, spend more time doing what you love to do most. Ano ba yung pinakagusto nyo gawin? Ano ba yung pinakagusto nyo gawin? Di ba gusto nyo mag-treat? Kaya nga yung dentista gusto nyo mag-dentista eh. Di gawin nyo yun, pero let's do it profitably. Let's do it in a way na kikita rin tayo talaga ng pera magkakaroon tayo ng time in our hands and papano nga ba yun, di ba? As we move on, I will, I, will, I will reveal this to you. Treating and better serving your patients while making a lot of more money. 300K ba ang gusto mo a month? 400K? Gusto mo 1 million plus? And enjoying a better quality of life. Um, frankly, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm around here. I'm around in the 1 million plus a month. Di ba? If you want that, that's possible. Because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in that uh, area now. I'm in that stage of my life where I can make that much money. So the best part is this. You don't have to be internet famous or have uh, a best-selling book, be on TV, have tons of testimonials, or have massive following. Hindi mo kailangan ng maraming ganito. Hindi mo kailangan. Pero pwede mo siya magawa kahit wala ka nito. Uh, kasi lahat to meron ako eh. Kaya lang, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean kailangan nyo rin. The only reason I can share this with you is because I've been through this. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Ron Samaniego. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. Um, I'm actually the first practicing doctor of physical therapy in the Philippines. I'm very famous for a company named Active Life Chicago PT. Siguro nakita niyo yan sa mga Facebook pages ninyo. Active Life Chicago PT uh, started in a 30 square meter space in Mandaluyong. Maliit yung space ko, 30 square meter. For, for a physical therapy clinic, that's very small. That's not even appropriate. Pero I started, I started at 30 square meter space kasi nga, during that time, wala pa ang pera. As, as I reveal to you, uh, as we move forward, malalaman ninyo kung bakit ko siya ginawa. I have put up over 22 clinics. 
have been in practice in the U.S. and the Philippines for over 15 years. Our company is the largest physical therapy network in the Philippines. I was able to scale my practice to that. Now, because my goal is to be the biggest, the brightest, pinakmaingay, pinakamalakas, pinakastablish na kompanya in terms of physical therapy sa buong Pilipinas. These are some of the people that we've seen already in our practice. Obviously, mara mas marami pa kaya lang, you know, I I don't want this to I don't want this to be ano I don't want this to be about me. I just wanted to show you that this is possible to have this celebrity status. This is possible. All right, let's go jump up. So even though I'm now a sought after expert in this area, I want you to know that things certainly weren't always this way. So let me show you, right? Noon, when I first started, I came home to the Philippines in 2015. I just, you know, I, I, I had relationship problems. I had financial stress. I had financial troubles. And I, I worked hard and I was underpaid, no? Maraming, maraming, maraming Masalmuot. As in, masalmuot yung ko without going through a lot of details, right? Uh, pero ang focus ko dito is I was working pero I felt that I I am not making enough and that I wasn't enough sa pamilya ko sa sarili ko sa, sa mga tao around me so if you felt that ever felt that way then lahat ng entrepreneur dumaan sa ganyan I had online struggles so nagmarket ako walang sumipot napunta ako sa OLX di ba yung OLX.ph advertise ako dyan tatawag yung tao, tapos hindi sisipot. Tapos, nag, nag, nagtotroll ako sa mga marketing groups o sa mga group chats. Wala, wala nangyayari. Finally, I went, I even went to the doctor's offices in my nearby area and wala nangyayari. Tinaasal lang din ako ng kilay ng mga doktor at ayaw nila magbigay ng pasyente only to find out that they have their own clinics. That's why they don't want to refer to me. Kaya pala tinaasal lang ako ng kilay. Ganda na picture, you know? Kala mo, problematic, problematic ako. You know? And then people are looking at me and they're like, Oh my God, I, I, I empathize with you, right? <laughs> anyway, I figured enough is enough. I promised myself that I'll do the opposite of what I've done in the past, never to commit the same mistakes ever again. So sabi ko, tama na to. Hindi, hindi ko na uulitin kung yung ginawa ko dati. Kung yung ginawa ko dati, kung ano yung opposite, yun ang gagawin ko ngayon. And finally, I landed what? The big score. When I say the big score, I found my niche. I found my audience. Diba sabi sa inyo, build your audience. So I found my audience. I engaged my audience. And I turned them into patients. Right? And that is the perfect three-step system that brings consistent leads to my doors. So what? So fast forward, right? Nagsimula ko, paisa isa, paisa isa. Garno ng audience, garno ko ng mga tao, pumapasok. <coughs> Excuse me. And then... What happened is this. I think within one and a half month, uh, Richard Gomez walked through my doors. Sabi ng front desk ko during that time, Uy, naku si Richard Gomez, nasa, ano mo, nasa, nasa clinic mo. And, may wall. Hindi ko nakikita kasi may padala. So, sumidip ako. Binagot ako si Richard Gomez was sitting, was sitting uh, in, in, my, in, in my clinic. Sabi ko, ba't hindi nagawa ni Richard Gomez dito? Eh, hindi naman ako, di ba, I'm not, I'm not that known. I'm not that, um, I'm not that popular. Like, what did he do here? Apparently, he was following me from from day one. He was following me when I built my audience. He was following me, and uh, and he became one of my audience. Kaya dun nagsimula lahat. After a month and a half, the pasu kanya mga tao was seeing over fifty people a day, and I and a lot of, a lot more people that I could handle. Okay. So I've seen exponential results because of that. I put up over twenty two clinics. I can travel back to the U.S. and the Philippines while my clinics are running. Kahit nasa U.S. ako ngayon, my clinics are running. How cool is that? Diba? So, eto, lagi nyo rin ito. You and I similar. Kung nagawa ko, kaya nyo rin gawin. Hindi ako superhero. Lagi nyo na rin yun, diba? Pero, I have to put it here. Kasi totoo pala. Totoo pala na, na posible. Posible pala mangyari ito. Wherein, um, Hindi ka superhero, hindi ka sikat, hindi ka bestseller na, na mga libro, hindi ka authority, and yet, and yet, makakakuha ka ng pasyente. Makakakuha ka ng pasyente that, that, that value what you offer. Posible pala. Kaya yeah, that's why I put it here. So imagine what, what, what life will look like when, when you can practice without worrying as to where your next patients are coming from. Right? 
Imagine when you can let go of the leash, yung yung tali ninyo sa practice. Para kayong para tayo may aso na hawak-hawak. Finally, papakawalan ko na yung aso na to and or tong kamayo na to so I could enjoy my time with my friends and family. So, these are the five discoveries that will help you create a multi-million peso dental practice. Ito yung na-discovery ko na totoong-totoo sa Pilipinas. Everyone does the same thing in the Philippines. Sa Pilipinas, pag dentist ka, lahat kayo dentista, pareho-pareho kayo ng ginagawa. Obviously, mayroong mga, may mayroong mga nakahanap ng niche nila, pero oftentimes, pareho-pareho ang ginagawa natin sa Philippines. The, and because of that, Pinoy's will copy the next big thing. Kung ano yung kumikita, yun ang gagayahin niya. Uh, hindi kayo niniwala. Tayo kami dati ng sari-sari store. Noong time na yun, kami lang doon sa lugar namin, sa Nabaliches. It was, it was uh, I think, during the 90s. Um, early, early 90s. Hang on a second. Hmm, my phone is ringing. Hang on. Ayun. So, apparently, my one of my patients is call, was calling during that time. But anyway, simula tayo. Ulit. So, Pinoy's will copy the next big thing. So, noong time na yun, yung mga, yung mga, yung sari-sari store namin, nag-iisa lang. And then, what happened was, um, kinopya kami ng mga, ano, kinopya kami ng mga kahit bahay namin. So, ngayon, kaliw, ano na, kabilaan na, kaliw, left and right, mayroon ng, ano, mayroon ng sari-sari store. Ano pa yung mga kinokopya ng Pinoy? Water station computer shop. Um, these are the types of businesses that that don't have that don't have a unique proposition. Wala silang there's nothing unique about them. Kaya madali silang gayahin. Ako, I always follow I always follow this. Uh, when I was a pharmaceutical rep, the the president of the company told me this. Sabi niya, Ronald, you always remember this. When you put up a business, you gotta have udas. U. U. Meaning U, kasi German eh. Sabi niya, U. So, the letter U is unique. You gotta be unique. D, you gotta be difficult to copy. No one no one should be able to copy you that easily. A, you should add value. You should be able to add value to what you do. And S, S should be sustainable. So, if, you, if you're gonna have that type of business, you will have a lasting and profitable business. Yun ang sabi niya sa akin. And this 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 German president of this pharmaceutical company uh, is a medical doctor, and he's got an MBA uh, in in like business and management. No, and I that that acronym stuck with me to this day, and I've been using that in my business. Location is key. Maraming dentista na kaya siya nabigo ni na iba. Wala 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 ng kalaban dito kasi ba na sa barrio ka. I'm finding out that if you are in the business sector and you are if you are in a place where people would like to come to work then chances are maganda yung pwesto mo. Ngayon, hindi ko sinasabi na na lumipat ka lumipat ka na ngayon sa pwesto na yon. Pero the thing is, kung if you want to scale your practice, you got to be where the people are. Huwag kang pupunta sa isang lugar kung sa gusto tumira ng mga tao. Oh, doon sila nakatira. Pero sa sila nag-aaral, sa sila nag school san sila nag nagtatrabaho san sila san sila lagi nag where do they gather most of the time di ba san sila lagi nagpupuntahan maraming yung bahay na tulugan lang nila yan kaya ay nung ano nagkaroon ako ng clinic sa Santa Rosa uh, di mukhang maganda di ba kasi maganda yung in the valley area eh. so tuwa-tuwa ako kasi sabi ko mukhang maganda tong lugar na to pero may, i have a fear already that i i there's something that in my gut that tells me hindi maganda dito pero one of the partners uh, during that time insisted na ay, hindi, hindi, gusto ko dito kasi dito ako nakatira. Yun ang sabi niya. So, sabi ko, sige, okay, pera mo naman yan, then fine, gasusin natin, punta tayo dyan. So, we went there, uh, we put up a practice, and you, guess what? Walang pumunta. Kahit ang ganda ng marketing ko, kahit ang ganda ng ginagawa ko, walang pumunta. Obviously, there are other factors, like the, the, the clinicians that I put in there were not good. I trained them, but they didn't follow through. Maraming factors, eh. Pero, w- one of the major issue is, or was, Yung, yung location. Location was really bad. People just go there to sleep. They bakasyonan lang nila yun. Hindi talaga nila bahay yun. So, kung nandun ka sa ganong klaseng lugar, the chances are, mm, it, will be too, it will be way too hard for you to scale. So, identify what separated my... So, what I did also was, I identified what separated my practice from others so that they can't copy me. Diba? Sa like, Sinyo Udas, you gotta be difficult to copy. 
and then I don't have to charge low. That's what I discovered. Hindi porky mababa ka, pupuntahan ka. Right? Hindi porky makakatipid sila sa'yo, pupuntahan ka. Yun yung mga klase ng mga tao na ayaw mo talaga pumunta sa'yo. That's what I'm discovering actually. The other discovery is I don't have to be famous. Hindi ko kailangan maging sikat para makakuha ko ng mga taong sikat o mga taong pupunta sa akin. And money comes when you offer a solution. Ito, mabigat to. It, oftentimes, we, we don't want to feel salesy. Pero we don't, we, we don't realize that money comes when you offer a solution. So example, uh, nagpa-party ako. So during the party, nagkalat yung mga tao. So kailangan ko ngayon maglinis ng bahay kasi wala ako, ayaw ko maglinis. Gusto ko gusto may maglinis para sa akin. Hindi ko kaya nang ako lang. So mag ako ng tao ngayon. So imagine this, it, sa 7 billion na tao sa buong, sa buong mundo, Ilan na pwedeng gumawa ng paglilinis na yun? Di ba marami? Basta may kamay ka, may paa ka, may utak ka, nakakasunod ka sa instruction, pwede ka. So chances are, etong rate ng, ang rate nito ng, ng, ng trabaho na ito mababa lang. Siguro sa Amerika, mga nasa $9, $10 an hour lang. Ganun, ganun din sa atin. When you offer a solution, when you offer a solution, that's when you, work, that's when you make more money. Right? So sa dentist ba, ang mga dentist ba nag-offer ba kayo ng solution? Tanong yung sarili nyo, nakakapag-offer ba kayo ng solusyon? Yes! All of you! Lahat kayo nakakapag-offer ng solusyon. Kaya nga doon pumapasok na dapat unique din kayo. Right? Sabi ko kanina, sa 7 billion na tao, sa, o sa ilang sa ilang milyong tao sa buong Pilipinas, sa ilang ilang hundreds of thousands probably, of, o ilang thousands of people or dentists sa buong Pilipinas na nag-offer ng dentistry sa mga tao, na nag-offer ng solusyon, ilan kayo? Ilan kayo naglalabanan doon sa number of clients na yon, number of patient pool na yon? Yun ang tanong niya sa sarili niya. Alright. Uh, I guess uh, this is one of the person who attended this webinar or this, this master class in the past. So I did a master class, a live master class in the past, and she's one of the attendees. And this is what she has to say. Hi, sir. How are you? I attended your business meeting last year in, in Shaw, sa Mandaluyong. Thank you. You helped me in, in some other way to put up my own PT clinic. So because, because of this master class that she attended, uh, she felt really confident to put up her own practice. No, nagkaroon siyang bagong perspective, nagkaroon siyang bagong outlook sa buhay, wherein she was able to put up her practice. And I, I do see her a lot. I do see her a lot in 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 her in her Facebook pages, in, in online, and I could tell that she's becoming more of an authority. And uh, she found a niche sa kanyang practice. No, like oh, good to hear that. I'm happy na may magandang result. Yes, sir. Looking forward to meeting you again. Thank you, let's sabi niya. Ayan. Naging yung mga bata. Ayan, ayan na sila. Mamaya mag-iingay na yan. So, so pasensya nyo na iingay kasi talaga sinindya ako na mag, mag ganito so you can hear that. Because I want you to I want you to, I want you to know that I do this even though I'm with my kids. Alright? And that's my that's my one-year-old. <laughs> na nag-iingay. Tutuwa siya. So. Alright. The thing is you don't have to be celebrity in order to charge more. You don't have to be celebrity to do that. <clears throat> you're here because you're here because probably you want your you want to change your dental practice for the better. Tama. Marami naman sa atin kaya tayo nagpunta ngayon sa master class na to kasi we want we want our dental dental practice to scale. We want our dental practice to to improve. Diba? Kaya tayo nandito ngayon. And now you know that trading time for money will not get you anywhere. Di ba sa dentistry naman talaga, you are trading time for money. There's no way around it. Kasi talaga one-on-one -on -one kayo. Uh, wala pa akong dentist na nakita na hindi siya one-on-one. -on -one. Di ba? Oh, may dental assistance kayo. Pero a lot of you don't, don't utilize your dental assistance. A lot of you don't utilize your other dentist. A lot of you can't even hire uh, another dentist in your practice. Natakot kayo. Na baka gayahin kayo, na baka nakawan kayo ng pasyente. Uh, marami, marami attitude na ganyan nakikita ko eh sa dentistry uh, each time I go to my dentist after I after I after I you know the procedure has been done I always talk to my dentist and I always ask her uh, Doc uh, hindi ka ba natatakot uh, na maulang ka ng pasyente kasi may another dentist ka sabi niya hindi I have so many sabi niya yung, ito yung ano ah <clears throat> I'm referring to the dentist na pinupuntaan ko na talagang busy busy siya hindi Nako, Diyos ko po. Siguro 3 months in advance before ka makabok sa kanya. It's really hard to get in. Pinay din dito sa Amerika. And she's not scared that uh, 
na baka mawalan siya ng pasyente. Kasi she said, it happened in the past, hindi man ako nawala ng pasyente, tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Diba? So, kaya na feeling na ganun. Wala, hindi siya nag-worry. Anyway, I've shown you that there's a better way. And I'm going to show you one more. One is premium pricing. Itong premium pricing na to is very important. Bakit? We've seen the old way of doing things and it just didn't work out. With premium pricing, it benefits everyone. When I say it benefits everyone, kasi kung lahat kayo are charging premium pricing, so example, example lang naman, oh, ang cleaning ngayon is 600 pesos. Pero kayo, ang i-charge nyo for cleaning is 1,500 pesos. Example lang. No? Kung ang standard is 600, you're gonna charge 3 times maybe, or 1,800, 1,800 pesos, or 2,000 pesos ang i-charge ninyo kada cleaning. Kasi nga, you wanna do premium pricing. And it, kung lahat ng dentista gagawin yun, aangat ang standard sa buong Pilipinas. Kaya lang, ang Pinoy kasi, we're known for being non-cooperative. Hindi maikipag-cooperate ang mga Pinoy. Bakit? Marami dyan ang magsasabi, unethical yan, masyadong mahal yan, hindi na makatao yan. Pero, hindi nila naiintindihan, sino ba nagpaaral sa inyo? Sino ba nagpaaral sa atin? Ilang, ilang taon bang ginugol natin sa pag-aaral para maging expert sa larangan na to? And then, sasabihin lang, hindi makatao. Sasabihin lang, hindi ayos. Well, that thinking is an old way of thinking and that should be done by now. Dapat wala na yan. Kaya lang marami pa rin sa Pilipinas. And ito nga yung magsaseparate sa practice ninyo. Believe me, if you can do this, then this will separate your practice among the rest. High prices attract quality clients. Walang pupunta sa inyo na basta-basang taon lang kung mataas ang presyo nyo. Right? Ang sabihin mo sa akin, Dok, pa, oo nga, wala nga pupunta sa akin ng basta-basta lang. Baka wala na talagang pumunta. That's not true. Kasi kung ang, ang market mo is yung mga, yung mga low-hanging fruits, yung mga, yung mga taong walang pera, chances are wala na nga talagang pumunta sa iyo. Pero ang market mo is yung mga tao na professional, people who could pay, and people who value their, their, their dental health, then chances are you could do this. You will attract a lot of them to come to you. Hindi mo kailangan ng magandang magandang clinic. Believe, believe it or not, hindi magaganda ang clinics ko. And yet, people come to me. Hindi, hindi siya kaling edge. Hindi siya, kaling, hindi siya futuristic, futuristic ang itsura. Hindi siya ganun ka, ka stylish. Hindi siya mukhang spa. Hindi ganun ang clinics ko. Pero kung ganun na ang clinics ninyo, and yet, wala pa rin pupunta, then, then ano, nagkaka-idea na kayo ngayon kung bakit. Kung ba't nangyayari yan. High prices are more reassuring. Pag mas malaki ang presyong sinacharge ninyo, uh, it, it assures people that that you're the real deal. Ah, mahal to kasi kasi maganda siya. Maganda siya gumawa. Mahal to kasi hindi siya basta-basta. Di ba yun naman talagang ID, ang, ano, ang utak ng mga tao? Uh, kaya doon lang, sa restaurant na lang. Pupunta ka ba sa isang restaurant na maraming maraming tao? Alam mo, masarap doon sa alam, alam na, ng malahat na masarap doon sa restaurant na yun kaya maraming tao. O pupunta ka sa isang restaurant na walang kumakain. Let's say you're on a date night. Saan kayo pupunta? Doon sa maraming tao o doon sa walang kumakain? I guess depends, di ba? Depende. Kung, kung nagmamadali kayo, di doon kayo kakain sa walang tao. Pero kung o oh, ayaw yung pumila, doon, ako ayaw pumila, kaya pupunta ako doon sa walang tao. Pero hindi ako happy. <laughs> After that, hindi ako happy. Kasi bakit? Kasi hindi masarap eh. Alam ko hindi masarap, pero inyat kumain pa rin ako doon. Ganyan din ang nararamdaman ng mga kliyente ninyo. They go to these cheap dental places Pag, paglabas nila, hindi sila masaya. Anong mangyayari? Next, next few months, na kailangan na naman ng dentista, hindi na yung babalik doon. Maghahanap niya na mas magaling. Ngayon, kung, kung if you're charging high prices, eh, people people will have this mentality na, na magaling ka. Papasok utak ng akin, ah, siya charge ng malaki kasi magaling siya. Premium pricing forces you to create an amazing result. Ito, uh, in conjunction to what I just said, Obviously, you have to be good to charge premium pricing. Sino ba dito ang hindi magaling? Lahat naman, lahat naman kayo magaling, di ba? Wala namang dentista magsasabi, hindi ako magaling. Lahat ng dentista, kasabihin nila, magaling sila. Wala magsasabi, hindi sila magaling. At kahit hindi sila magaling, hindi nila naaminin yun. Maraming ganyan. Uh, ako, na-encounter ko sa mga doktor sa Pilipinas, eh. hindi nila naaminin na hindi sila magaling. <laughs> kahit yung mga physical therapists, mga personal trainer, lahat sila magaling. Pero the thing is, it doesn't matter kung magaling ka o hindi. If you're not, if you're not making money out of it, who cares, di ba? Go oh, nga, magaling ka, mayabang lang, that's it. Pero if you're making money, if you're making a business out of it, then mas maganda, di ba? Kahit mar- ako, ako, uh, guys, I'm, I'm gonna share this with you. When I started to practice, kasi nga maingay ako sa Facebook, marami nag sa akin ng mga PT. 
Tapos siya sabi lang, mahal daw ako, I'm charging a lot. But, but the thing is this, yung mga taong yon na nagagal sa akin, mga physical therapists, mga doctors na yon, lalo yung mga physical therapists, yung mga physical therapists, they're just volunteers. Wala silang sweldo, hindi sila pinapasahuran, and yet pumapasok sila sa ospital. Galit na galit sila sa akin for charging a premium price. Pero wala naman silang practice. Tapos yung mga doktor na nagagal sa akin, ganun din, wala rin practice. Nagtatrabaho lang sa ospital, nagmumoonlighting, tapos so, yeah, nagagal sila sa akin. Kasi maingay daw ako sa Facebook, nagsacharge na ako malaki. Mayabang daw ako kasi nagsacharge na ako malaki. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi lahat magpa-follow suit nito. Kaya nga, kaya I was able to separate my practice from them kasi alam ko, hindi nila kayang sumabay sa ganito. And when I did it, lahat naiwan, maraming naiwan at parang nagalit. Ganyan ang mangyayari sa Pilipinas. Yun lang, yun lang pala, ano, word of caution, pag sumikat na kayo at, at marami na kayong pera at may, nakapag-practice na kayo na maganda, you have time in your hands, a lot of a lot of people will, would hate you. Dito na papasok yung crab mentality. And and you gotta be able to deal with that. It's it's up to you to deal with that. Ako, I dealt it in my own way. Siguro may mas maganda kayong way para mag-deal sa kanila. Ako, I just dealt with it head on. And that's the end of it. Natapos yun sa ganun. So, premium pricing clients are more invested and have better outcomes. Meron silang uh, uh, na-appreciate nila kung yung ginagawa ninyo. Di ba? Magsisipot sila kung ano yung oras yung appointment nila. Hindi sila, they don't waver. Hindi sila nag-alanganin. Sisipot sila kung dahil alam nila may appointment sila sa inyo. Yun ang gandahan ng charge ng premium pricing. That's part of my, uh, this is part of my, ano, ano, Uh, three-point blueprint. Um, Ini-explain ko lang sa inyo kasi ito yung magandang painggan eh. At ito yung magandang malaman ninyo ng gusto, pati. Na pwede nyo na ma-apply sa practice nyo ngayon. Kung kaya nyo i-apply, di ba? Pwede nyo itong i-apply. And more profit means less headache. Magandaan ito, hindi mo kailangan i-treat lahat. Hindi mo kailangan tanggapin lahat. More profit means less headache. Di ba? Mas marami. Less ang tao. Less na tao kausap mo, less headache. Pero mas marami kang pera, mas marami kang panahon, mas marami kang, mas marami kang time mag-travel or do whatever you want. Ako, I, I went into filmmaking kasi I love doing films, right? Ano pa ba? I, I, I went into um, songwriting competitions, uh, uh, nagpaturo ako mag-voice lessons uli uh, to, to hone my voice. Pero the thing is this, all of that I was able to do kasi nga, I, because of this, I have more profit, less headaches. And if you'd like to help me, if you like my help, you know, in order for you to do this, then yeah, I'd be able to help you and I'd, I'd be delighted. And so here's exactly how I can help you. Learn to apply what I just discussed on your own. You have, you have choices. You can, you, can, you can just apply this on your own, just like what Leia did. She just applied this on her own and she was able to do it. Or we can do it for you. Let's say, I'd, honestly, Doc Ron, I don't want to deal with the marketing stuff. Pwede ba ikaw lang gumawa? Pwede ba ikaw lang gumawa para sa akin para mas tama yung structure ko, hindi na ako manguhula? Or, pwede ka nang turuan. Turuan kita kung medyo sabi ka uh, sa business, sa marketing, sa ads, uh, pwede ka nang turuan. Alright. Let me, let me tell you this though. Uh, the marketing and ads and sales have gotten, have gotten a bad rap in the Philippines or anywhere in the world na, na may sa, sa healthcare na. Marami sa atin na pag sinabi, marketing, nako, evil yan, masama yan. Sales, nako, masama yan. The thing is this, marketing is just a way or several ways to make people know that you're around, that you're in practice to begin with. That's that's marketing. That's how simple it is. Pinapaalam mo lang sa tao na may private, may private practice ka, na may dental practice ka sa location na to. That's what marketing is. Ngayon, sales is, pupunta sila sa'yo, pagpunta lang sa pintuan, Is, sales is is a matter of converting them into patients, from inquiries to patients. Yun ang sales. Yun lang kasimple. Narinig, narinig nila, may practice ka, pumunta sila, and then pag nating na doon, you, you convert them into patients. Kasi to begin with, di pa naman sila pasyente, nag inquire pa lang sila. I guess niyo, yun lang kasimple ang marketing and sales. And it's not evil. It's necessary in order to be in business. And if you, if you don't want to do marketing and sales, then you should not be in business. Kung ngayon, If you want to be in business but you don't want to do marketing and sales, then paggawa niyo sa iba. Paggawa niyo sa iba, right? Or or magpaturo kayo kung ayaw, all the things, kung ayaw niyo mang gawin, paggawa niyo sa iba. However, obviously, uh, I gave you three, three options kanina. So, like, do it on your own. Uh, we can do it for you. 
or you can you, you, we can teach you do, uh, how to do it right you have, you have those options para may apply niyo lahat ng topic ko sa natin ngayon but then again i can't accommodate everyone i only have a lot of i only have a number of of time in my day that i can accommodate accommodate people to do marketing for them no or to teach them to do marketing so hindi to para sa lahat hindi to lahat hindi lahat makukuha ko hindi lahat makaka-avail nito you can take only a handful of people in our program so the, the best thing is schedule a call. So may lalabas dito na link wherein you can schedule a call with me or with one of my representative and in order for us to find out if you're the right fit to begin with. No? Kasi hindi ko alam kung bagay sa inyo to or hindi. Baka, baka hindi to para sa inyo. Baka, baka, baka dapat ibang, ibang marketing program ang pasukin ninyo. Baka hindi ito. So malalaman natin during the call. Obviously, time is of the essence. Pag napuno na yung slots namin, mag wait list na kami. And you don't want to be in the wait list. Kasi, believe it or not, uh, remember I told you I had a lot of clients, I had a lot of patients starting out? Ganon din ito. We will have a lot of people in the wait list and, and frankly, you want to get you want to get in on it now or you want to get in right now. Okay, our unique proposition. I don't know, you're naman unique, unique, narinig nyo naman yung unique proposition. Um, you will learn how to scale your dental practice without trawling online. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-trawl. Hindi mo na kailangan ulit online. If you don't want to manage it on your own, we'll do it for you. Kaya kaya natin gawin yan. Like I said, it's it's not it's something that we can duplicate. It's something that we can do all the time. We could put your patient generation in autopilot. You don't have to work out a formula to get patients in. Or you can either teach you or we can do it for you. So how cool is that? You'll have more time in your hands for your dental practice and your personal life. All you have to do is schedule a 30-minute discovery phone call with us. We guarantee that we won't pressure you to buy anything. Walang, walang pressure on dito, walang sales fee dito. Pakingan namin, pakingan namin kayo. Yun ang gusto namin, namin. pakingan namin kayo. And we want to know if you're the right person for this program. Yun lang. Hinahanap lang namin yung right person for this program. Kasi we know that there's a lot. And if you're one of them, then, then we might be able to work with you. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to listen to your situation and we will come up with a detailed plan. Like I said, it's not for everyone. If you're not ready to invest in your practice, kung ayong mag invest sa practice mo, at tingin mo, uh, advertising, marketing is an, is an expense. Gastos lang yan. Dito para sa yo. If you think that patients would come because you have initials at the end of your name, kasi meron kang DMD sa dulo ng pangalan mo, uh, this is not for you. Uh, if you think na interested, uh, if you're not interested in charge in changing your current system, kung masaya ka na sa system mo, then why change it, right? So hindi to para sa yung yun yung attitude mo. So this is for you if you're a new dental practitioner who's interested in scaling up scaling up your practice. You believe that you need a solid marketing system in place. You're willing to invest in your practice. You want to separate yourself from the rest of of the many dentists, and you're ready to make a decision today or. <laughs> Probably yesterday, right? So ngayon na sa nandaan tayo. You have two choices. One is, don't do anything, and I can guarantee, I can guarantee you that nothing's gonna change if you don't do anything. In fact, it probably would get worse. And or do something about it. Give us a call, schedule a call with us, and find out your options, right? The way I see it, in my clinics, there are several types of people. Pero ito yung mga dalawang tao na identify ko so far. Yung struggler, people would. Ito yung mga tao na, yung mga nag-struggle talaga sila. They will struggle through life to find out the answer. They will try to find out on their own. Hindi, gagawin ko sa sarili ko. And, and chances are, most of them fail. And they ended up coming to us anyway. And they ended up coming to, to where they, they learned something to begin with. So kung sabi sila natuto, sabi sila babalik. After nila mag-struggle, after nila gumasas ng pera, after nila gumasas ng panahon, mas wala nangyari, babalik din sila sa amin. Ganun nangyayari. Kitang-kita kayo sa mga pasyente, kitang-kita kayo sa mga naging business clients namin. The smart and efficient people are this. So from, from the get-go, nakita na itong web, webinar class na ito, itong master class na ito, and they identified right away that, wow, I can't do this on my own. I need, I need someone to help me. I need someone with years of experience to help me do this kasi hindi ko siya kaya gawin mag-isa. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste money doing this on my own and trying to figure out what works. Apparently, Doc Ron and his crew has, has found out a way to, to get people through their doors. Guys, sabihin ko sa inyo, ha, physical therapists 
are the most disadvantaged professionals in the Philippines in terms of healthcare, no? Bakit kami disadvantaged? We can put up a private practice, pero no one would care about us. Bakit? Maraming, pag sumakit ang likod mo, sumakit ang batok mo, sumakit ang shoulder mo, saan pupunta? Di ba hospital? Punta ka sa doktor. Isang competition na namin yan. Ano pa? Punta ka sa chiropractor, punta ka sa acupuncturist, punta ka sa massage, punta ka sa hilot. Ang daming options kung saan ka pumunta. So bago makarating sa amin, chances are, natry na nila lahat at lahat yun nag-fail bago sila makarating sa amin. Could you imagine na ganun kahirap? Sa dentist, pag sumakit ang ngipin ko, saan ako pupunta? Sa doktor? Ano gagawin ng doktor sa akin? Di ba? Yung medical doctor. Wala. They, they, could, they could do nothing for, for an aching tooth. Saan bubulok ng ngipin? They could do nothing about that. Pupunta yan mismo sa inyo, sa dentista mismo. Wala kayong kalaban. Ganun, ka, ganun kaganda itong program na ito. Ganun kaganda na itong program na ito wherein it applies to you perfectly. Bakit? Wala kayong kalaban kundi kapuan nyo lang dentist. And kung kayo kayo lang maglalabanan, madaling labanan ang sarili nyo. Madaling labanan ang kapwa ninyo. Madaling kayo mapag-compete sa kapwa ninyo kasi kayo kayo lang ang nag- naglalabanan. And, and last time I checked when in the last uh, election, there's over 55 million people who registered to vote. There's over 55 people in the Philippines na pwede nyong maging pasyente. Kahit marami pa kayo dentista, hindi nyo kaya pagsilbihan yung 55 million na yun. Hindi nyo kaya. Hindi nyo kaya. So, what, what, what am I saying this? Mara, malaki ang market ng dentist sa Pilipinas. Kaya lang, nagmumukhang masikip kasi marami nga kayo at the same time, hindi nyo ma-identify ang sarili nyo among the rest. Hindi alam ng tao. O sige, para pero dentista, di marami akong choices. Yun ang inisip nila. What if you're able to separate yourself now from, from the crowd? You were able to drum down, you were able to drum down the noise and people would listen to you. Kasi ikaw nga yung umangat. Ikaw mismo yung naririnig nila. Just like what I did for Active Life Chicago PT. I was able to rise above the rest and now people could listen to me and hear what I have to say. Kahit maraming physical therapy sa Pilipinas, kahit walang value ang physical therapy sa Pilipinas, kasi nag-volunteer lang ang mga PT, walang trabaho talaga, walang kita. I was able to change how things are being done in the Philippines in terms of physical therapy practice. Now, sabi mo, Doc, physical therapist kasi may, physical therapist kay, doctor, a doctor of PT kay, kami, dentista kami. Yun nga, kaya-explain ko lang, di ba? Walang, walang ibang option kundi dentista pagdating sa ngipin. Wala kayong kalaban. Kayo-kayo lang ang naglalabanan. How cool is that? Para sa akin, you have the greatest profession sa, sa, sa buong healthcare. Para sa akin, dentists have the greatest profession sa buong healthcare kasi wala kayong kalaban. You are the, you're the, you're like the, the, the unknown rock stars of the healthcare profession. Kaya lang hindi nyo nga na maximize Anyway guys, give us a call. Uh, we, we, you know, this is my, this is my, the end of my slide is the last slide. And uh, give us a call, schedule, schedule call, a discovery call for with us. Try to find out if you're the right fit. And I, I'm, be, I'm feeling enthusiastic that a lot of you would be the right fit for our program. Kasi nga maraming, maraming dentista na hindi na ma-separate yung sarili nila sa ibang dentista. And with that three, with that three-point system, with that three-point blueprint, you should be able to identify who you are separate yourself from the rest, and profit from it. We hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your time. And we hope, we hope to, to be working with you soon. All right, all right guys. Bye-bye.